Yeremiyahu, Jeremiah 46. The word of Yahuwah, which came to El Yeremiyahu, the prophet against the other nations, against Mitzrayim, against the army of Pharaoh Nico, king of Mitzrayim, which was by the river Parath in Karkamish, which Nebuchadne Sitsar, king of Babel, smote in the fourth year of Yahu Yachim, the son of Yoshi Yahu, king of Yahuda. Order ye the buckler and shield, and draw near to battle. Harness the horses and get up, ye horsemen, and stand forth with your helmets. Furbish the spears and put on the brigadines. Wherefore have I seen them dismayed and turned away back, and their mighty ones are beaten down and are fled apace, and look not back. For fear was round about, says Yahuwah. Let not the swift flee away, nor the mighty man escape. They shall stumble and fall toward the north by the river Parath. Who is this that comes up as a flood, whose waters are moved as the rivers? Mitzrayim rises up like a flood, and his waters are moved like the rivers. And he says, I will go up and will cover the earth. I will destroy the city and the inhabitants thereof. Come up, ye horses, and rage, ye chariots. And let the mighty men come forth, the Cushim and the Libyans that handle the shield, and the Ludim that handle and bend the bow. For this is the day of Adonai Yahuwah Sevaoth, a day of vengeance, that he may avenge him of his adversaries. And the sword shall devour, and it shall be satiate, and made drunk with her blood. For Adonai Yahuwah Sevaoth, has a sacrifice in the north country by the river Parath. Go up into Gilad and take balm, O virgin, the daughter of Mitzrayim. In vain shall you use many medicines, for you shall not be cured. The nations have heard of your shame, and your cry has filled the land. For the mighty man has stumbled against the mighty, and they are fallen both together. The word that Yahweh spoke to El Yeremiah, the prophet, how Nebuchadnezzar, Setzar, king of Babel, should come and smite at the land of Mitzrayim. Declare ye in Mitzrayim, and publish in Migdal, and publish in Noth, and in Tach Panechech, say ye, stand fast and prepare. For the sword shall devour round about you. Why are your valiant men swept away? They stood not, because Yahuwah did drive them. He made many to fall, yea, one fell upon another. And they said, Arise! Let us go again to our own people and to the land of our nativity from the oppressing sword. They did cry there, Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, is but a noise. He has passed the time appointed. As I live, says the king, whose name is Yahuwah Savaoth, surely as Tevor is among the mountains and as Carmel by the sea, so shall he come. O daughter dwelling in Mitzrayim, furnish yourself to go into captivity. For Nof shall be waste and desolate without an inhabitant. Mitzrayim is like a very fair heifer, but destruction comes. It comes out of the north. Also, 
Her hired men are in the midst of her like fatted bullocks, for they also are turned back and are fled away together. They did not stand because the day of their calamity was come upon them and the time of their visitation. The voice thereof shall go like a serpent, for they shall march with an army and come against her with axes as hewers of wood. They shall cut down her forests, says Yahuwah, though it cannot be searched, because they are more than the grasshoppers and are innumerable. The daughter of Mitzrayim shall be confounded. She shall be delivered into the hand of the people of the north. Yahuwah Sevaoth, the yellow high of Yashad El, says, Behold, I will punish the multitude of No and Pharaoh and Mitzrayim with their Elohim and their kings, even Pharaoh and all them that trust in him. And I will deliver them into the hand of those that seek their lives and into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, and into the hand of his servants. And afterward it shall be inhabited as in the days of old, says Yahweh. But fear not, O my servant, Yahov, and be not dismayed, O Yashadael. For behold, I will save you from afar off and at your seed from the land of their captivity. And Yaakov shall return and be in rest and at ease, and none shall make him afraid. Fear not, O Yaakov, my servant, says Yahuwah, for I am with you, for I will make a full end of all the nations whither I have driven you, but I will not make a full end of you, but correct you in measure. Yet will I not leave you wholly unpunished. Death.